Last night, when that Rashad Bateman video came out of him beating Marlon Humphrey, uh, it sort of put this story uh, on the back burner. It sort of had this one slip under the radar. And it was a very nice video, by the way. And shout out to Marlon Humphrey, because he must have known that video was going to be on the way. He knew. He knew. Because his comments, the way he spoke about Rashad Bateman, how he said uh, Rashad Bateman, he's a very, very nice route runner and whatnot. He said he told Eric DaCosta, yeah, we got to go. And how he talked about the energy being different with all the wide receivers. He said that because he ain't used to getting beat by Ravens receivers like that. But again, let's not make it a big deal. It's just one play. And I'm sure Marlon Humphrey got his in too. Uh, but shout out to, uh, to him for giving Rashad Bateman uh, his praise. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What is going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Mike Garofalo. Last night, he let it be known that the Ravens, their number one priority, number one, is signing Lamar Jackson to a contract extension before training camp. And that one caught me a little off guard, like before training camp. Like, I know they've been talking about it. We heard Eric DaCosta bring it up. We heard Lamar Jackson bring it up. We heard John Harbaugh bring it up, and he certainly brought it up yesterday. He said Lamar Jackson is going to get paid. He's going to get paid. And that's something that we all know and we all waiting for. And we all going to be happy for him when he gets it. But we just didn't know the when. Now, it's not set in stone that it's going to happen just because they want it to happen. It doesn't mean it's going to happen before training camp. But if it is really their priority, number one, you got to feel like these two sides are going to come to an agreement. And these two sides deserve to come to an agreement because Lamar Jackson deserves to get paid but before we get into it team keep it clean don't let anybody take your kindness for weakness don't let anybody take advantage of you because people will try it they see you smiling they see you happy they see you being all positive and whatnot and they take that as a sign like oh <laughs> they're weak no don't try it but anyway somebody who the raven should not try is lamar jackson don't try to give him no discount. Don't, don't have him try to take a discount. Don't try to give him no cheap deal. Don't try to lowball him. Don't. Because he doesn't deserve that. And I, I know I've seen a lot of Ravens fans sort of use this thinking when it comes to Lamar Jackson's contract agreement. Well, maybe he can take less because right now his mom is still his agent. Because, yeah, you know, Harbaugh spilled the beans on that yesterday. But anyway, his mom is still his agent. So the agent fees, they will go straight to her and whatever deal it would be. So if he takes less, they would still get more. No, 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 no. Market value. Market value. Lamar Jackson taking less is a no-no. Big reason why. This is his second contract. Your second contract sets you up for your entire NFL career. If you decide you want to take a cheap deal now, you're going to be taking cheap deals forever. People are not going to respect you business-wise if you give them a big discount right now when you're supposed to be getting paid. And I know that even with a discount, he will still get paid. But then no, nope, no discounts, none. Now, and with him not taking a discount, and I know, I know some people will be like, oh, well, that would be very selfish. Of him. No, it wouldn't. It's a business. NFL is a business. And I think the people that think it's selfish of Lamar to, take, to not give a hometown discount, those people are actually thinking selfishly as fans. Because those people want, oh, hey, this player that I like to watch on my favorite team, I want him to take less money so I can continue to enjoy my team's success. Even though it's already been shown that the Ravens, I mean, still on offense, they, they've been pretty cheap, especially at the wide receiver position. Now, other positions like offensive line, they'll pay for offensive linemen now. They'll pay for some offensive linemen. But as far as wide receiver, no. And they had opportunities to get some wide receivers, bring some guys in for Lamar, but, but uh, on his rookie deal. But they uh, no. Okay, okay, cool. No, you're yeah, all right. Now you got to pay him. You got to pay him. You have to. And now another reason why he should not take a discount. I mean, he's, he's already been on a discounted deal. Ever since uh, 2018. And then, I mean, if you even you want to throw away the rookie season, which you can't. But even if you want to discount that, which you can't. 
But even if you want to leave that out, which you can't, but even if you do, he's been on a discount deal ever since 2019. And even in a year where he regressed because he didn't have the same kind of season that he'd had in his MVP season in 2020, it's still a discounted deal. Still. <laughs> so you got to pay Lamar Jackson his money. But in a year where right now the salary cap, it got pushed back and whatnot because we know the whole C-19 the pandemic and whatnot. That salary cap is only going up from here. So you pay Lamar Jackson his market value. The, and he's going to take a chunk of the salary cap. It's not going to kick in until uh, the year after next because he got his fifth year option next year. And then it should kick in the following year. But the salary cap is going to continue going up. NFL is already finding so many different ways to recoup a lot of the money that they lost and whatnot from fans not being in the stands. They're getting it from players. They're getting it from fans. They're getting it from TV deals. They're getting it all over. They say, oh, you know what? Hmm. How can we get some more money but look like we're trying to do the NFL players a favor? Hey, you guys can change your numbers. You can change your numbers. And for rookies, pick whatever number you want. But for players that have been here, if you want to change your number, that's fine. All you got to do is buy up all your stock from the jerseys that you already have out there. That's all you got to do. You want to change your number? Go ahead. Do your thing. But we got to get some bread from it. You think we're going to let you change your number for free? Oh, no. We're the NFL. No, we are a business. And what are businesses in it to do? Make money. Lamar Jackson is a businessman. What is he in this NFL to do? Make money. Of course, he want to do his legacy and all that, win Super Bowls and all that. We know that. But he ain't doing it for free. None of these players are doing it for free. You don't go to your job every single day and do it for free. No. You may enjoy what you do, but you still want to make some bread from it because that makes it that much better. So, Lamar Jackson, no discount. Now, one thing that I want to say is that I hope that the Ravens stop letting all this outside noise in. And I know they, they hear all the outside noise. We know they hear it. But it's how you respond to it. And I feel like the Ravens, they got to sort of toughen up when it comes to their responses uh, to the outside noise. Because when they res the way that they respond to it, it always seems like... They, they just let it get to them. And I, I take you back to 2018. They obviously did the switch from Joe Flacco to Lamar Jackson. And they turned into this run-heavy team. But they were having success. They played, I think, Lamar Jackson's first game was against the Bengals, I want to say. But either way, um, the game against the Raiders. He played the Raiders, and I think that was his second game. And shout-out to Marlon Humphrey, by the way. Marlon Humphrey in that Bengals game, he had the game-saving breakup to A.J. Green on a fourth and like two, something like that. Uh, but anyway, against the Raiders. After, after the Bengals game, all these analysts, all these commentators, Lamar Jackson runs too much. He's run too much. He's run too much. He's going to put himself in harm's way. He's going to get hurt. He runs too much. Because they were looking at the stat sheet. Now, Lamar Jackson was getting his run on there. But if you looked at the film instead of just looking at a piece of paper with numbers on it, then you would see he was not putting himself in harm's way. A lot of those runs, he would slide. A lot of those runs, he would get out of bounds. And for several of those runs, they were kneel downs for victory formation. But all those counters run. So when you look at that stat sheet, it's like, oh, man, he ran, what was it, 24, 27 times, something like that. He's not going to last. It's not going to work. What happens the following week against the Raiders? First half, they hardly run Lamar Jackson at all. They hardly ran him at all. They let that outside noise get in. And then what, the, what happened in the second half, though? Second half, they went back. They said, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're we listening too much to this stuff. Cancel that. Let, let's go back to what was working last week. Let's do it. And they did it, and it worked. So then, offseason, John Harbaugh had an interview. It was in a trailer. I forgot who it was with, what radio station or who, what it was. But they asked John Harbaugh about Lamar and the lack of passing. Hey, oh, he can't pass. He can't pass. And John Harbaugh got offended by that. And that I can understand because John Harbaugh, he should be offended by that. You say, oh, man, th this guy that saved my job, you saying that he can't pass the football? What? That's how you feel about him? No. And, and John Harbaugh should be going to extreme lengths to defend Lamar Jackson because Lamar Jackson defended him from getting that ax. But anyway, that was that. But in 2019, first game of the season, it's the Florida Ravens versus the Miami Dolphins. So they're down here at the crib. 
Um, and this is the, the, the statement game, the opening game of the season. Lamar Jackson first start in week one. What does he do? Goes and throws five touchdowns. Beautiful, beautiful game. Almost passed out a couple of times from cheering so much, and it was hot outside, but it, it, it was very fun. I loved it. I mean, y'all, y'all can watch the vlog if you want to. But after that game, in the locker room, Lamar Jackson, you could see that that outside noise got in, and he was thinking about it throughout. Because after the game, y'all remember, not bad for a running back. Because so many people throughout the offseason, they called him a running back. And they continue to do that, but he is obviously listening. Now, sometimes the outside noise can result in a sort of petty exchange because we remember the whole the whole the, the radio personality. I forgot who it was, what his name was. And he talked about Lamar Jackson. I think he said that um, he couldn't he couldn't tell if Lamar he couldn't tell if Lamar Jackson had sleeves on or not because of his skin color. It was just a little messy. So what happened? Lamar Jackson, there was one game, I think it was against the Buffalo Bills, where Lamar Jackson came out. And the first half, he didn't have on any sleeve. But the second half, he, he put on a sleeve. And you could tell it was that pettiness. But the pettiness was from listening to that outside noise. So then, last year, that, the whole C-19, that, that took over a lot of the outside noise, but still. Um, but this year, this year, um, with the Ravens, not even Lamar Jackson, but with the Ravens. Um, but Lamar Jackson, too, because it will all with that same clip. That same video clip of him throwing the ball to Sammy Watkins. It was a completion. And when I saw it, I told y'all, I, I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, okay, Lamar threw, threw the pass to Sammy Watkins. All right, go. Cool. I, know, I know they want to show highlights and stuff. No problem. I didn't think it was all that, but it's a completed pass. Okay, cool. Moved on. But then as I got on Twitter and looked on Twitter and on Instagram, People just started flooding it. Oh, that's a wobbly pass. Oh, that's not a spiral. Oh, that's a duck. Oh, that, and it's like, really? Really? So, and then even on the Pat McAfee show, uh, he was giving the, uh, the Raven social media team some, a little bit of heat for that. Saying that, oh, they, they, they shouldn't have posted that. And I was thinking, like, I, I, didn't, I never once thought it was ever that serious. They posted a clip of Lamar Jackson throwing the ball to Sammy Watkins. Was the ball perfect? It was good enough because Sammy Watkins caught it. But, again, this, this is what made me make that video saying that no matter what Lamar Jackson does, it will never be good enough for some people because it won't. This dude could do everything right. This dude could throw for 50 touchdowns. And if on one of those touchdowns, the pass is a wobbly pass. And, again, listen to what I just said. On one of those touchdowns. If on one of those touchdowns, it's a wobbly pass. But it's still a touchdown. There's still going to be people that say, oh, man. What a terrible throw. What a bad throw by Lamar Jackson. Oh, that was so bad. That was a poor throw by Lamar. What a bad throw. But it's a touchdown. So it, it's just, that, that's how it's always going to be for him. But back to what I was saying about that outside noise. Jameson Hensley let it be known yesterday. Uh, and John Harbaugh too. But he said that the, the media is no longer allowed to film Lamar Jackson throwing the ball to wide receivers. I just, what? I don't, mm, really? I just felt like that was, uh, what kind of move was that? Like, really? He, he, they're not allowed to film him throwing the wide receivers now? And I know some people were like, oh, but no, the Ravens don't want people to see their routes. How many routes are you really running right now in minicamp? How much of your playbook are you really showing right now in minicamp? Like, oh, but they may be wanting to hide their receivers. Everybody knows who your receivers are. They know who you drafted. They know what he's good at. They know who you already have. They know what they're good at. So I just, the outside noise, they, they, they just, my point is they got to stop letting that outside noise affect them so much. But anyway, as long as that outside noise doesn't affect the contract and Lamar Jackson does not take a discount don't try to take his kindness for weakness love y'all team keep it clean we out